going to show you how to set up the Google Nest Cam, the indoor wired second generation, step by step. So first thing, right out of the box, you get the Nest Cam. You have a wall adapter here, which we're going to plug the USB into here like this. You have a, let's get started, quick startup guide. And in this box here, you do have some wall screws, anchors, and a cable clip. I'm not going to need any of the wall screws or anchors because I'm not going to mount this. I'm going to simply leave this on my desk somewhere. So the first thing is we want to go ahead and plug this into our wall outlet. All right, I just plugged it in. Now we should see a light come on there. You can see white right here, and eventually it's going to turn blue. Okay, there it is. You can see the blue light right there. Now the next thing is go ahead and grab your phone or tablet and you want to go ahead and download the Google Home app. Okay, so if you have an iPhone, go to your uh, Apple Store and if you have an Android phone, go to your Google Play Store. Okay, so I have an iPhone here. Here's my Apple Store right there. And just do a search for Google Home. My Google Home is right here and I already have it installed. After you download and install it, go ahead and open up the Google Home. And if you don't have an account, sign up for an account. It's free, of course. And then once you're on here, on the home page right here, top left hand side is the plus side, plus sign. You want to go ahead and tap on that right there. And then we're going to tap on set up a device right there. And then from here, we're going to choose right here, new devices. Okay, so tap on that right there. Now from here, you can go ahead and create a home. Or for me, I have several homes. Okay, I have a home, an office. I also have my uh, my parents' house and whatnot, okay? But I'm gonna go ahead and go with this home that I'm in now. So I'm gonna choose this one up here. Make sure it's checked. Tap on Next. Looking for devices. Now it says, what are you setting up? I'm gonna go with camera right here. Let's tap on camera. And then on here, we're gonna choose the Nest Cam Indoor Wild Wired Second Generation. Let's tap on that right there. Now it's asking for us a QR code. And if you look right here, Here's your QR code. Okay, so you can go ahead and scan that. If you don't have this, what you can do is use a special number that's under here. Okay, so this right here, we can go ahead and turn that counterclockwise, and then this bottom part will come out, and then we'll see a code on here. I see my setup code right there. So I'm just going to use the setup code instead of the QR code. So what I'm going to do is down here it says continue without scanning. So I'm going to tap down here right there. Now it says enter setup code, which is on here. So, and I'm putting in my code now, three and then V and then clap, click on next. Nest cam wire. Okay. Now we can go ahead and tap on next right there. You have to agree to proceed here. So you may want to read that. Tap on, I agree. If you agree, user guidelines, go ahead and read through this. And then if you agree, tap on, I agree down here. Privacy guidelines, you can read through there, and then you can tap on next. Help improve Nest Cam, you can go no thanks or yes I'm in, it doesn't really matter. I'm just gonna go with yes I'm in. Plug in the camera near the spot that you plan to use it. So I'm gonna use it right around here so it's fine here, but let me just go ahead and put this cap back on here. Just pop the cap back on here, and then we can go ahead and turn it clockwise, okay? So let's go back here, let's go ahead and tap on next. We just heard that beep right there. Where is the device located? You can go ahead and choose one down here. I'm gonna go with office right here. I'm gonna tap on that right there. I'm gonna cl click on next. It says here, remove your QR code sticker and place it in a quick start guide. So just in case you need to set up again, you can leave that there. But don't forget, you don't really need that. You have that code on the underneath the uh, Nest Cam itself as well. So we're gonna click on next here. Okay, you should see a live video. Yep, I see a live video here. Let me go ahead and tap on next. Are you mounting this camera to the wall? If you are, click on yes, and it should give you a tutorial on how to do that. For me, I'm gonna go with no. I'm gonna tap on next. Camera on, a green light will turn on and remain on whenever your camera is active and processing or recording. It is green now, because it senses me right now. So let me go ahead and click on next here. You can start reading through all this, live viewing. Just read this through yourself. Tap on next. You can adjust the mic settings. 
This is up to you. For me, I want my microphone on, and I also want the audio recording as well. Click on Next. Choose whether you want to turn on video history. Your Nest camera comes with three hours of event history or event video history, which can be which can record events on based on what your camera detects. Okay, so I'm fine with my video recording on. I'm going to tap on Next right there. Set up home and away routines. The camera can automatically turn on when you leave and turn off when you come back home. So you can set that up uh, now or you can do not now and never set it up or set it up later. It's up to you. For me, I'm going to go ahead and set this up now. So I'm going to tap on setup. You can read through that. Tap on more if you want to read more. After that, tap on next. Use your phone location for present sensing. Go ahead and read through that. And that's up to you. You can do no thanks or agree. For me, I'm going to go ahead and go with I agree. And it says here, this feature needs always on location permissions to allow the app to automatically switch between home and away without opening the app. Go to settings and select always allow. Okay, so go to your settings. I'm just going to click down here. Go to settings. And it says location. I only have while using up here. So let me go ahead and tap on that right there. And I'm going to go ahead and tap on always right there. Now I'm going to go back to my Google Home app. Confirm your home address. You can go ahead and redo this. You can put an address in there if you wish or not. Okay. They already put my address in here. I'm going to go ahead and tap on next right here. I'm fine with that. Confirm your home location. Yeah, I'm about right around there. Let me click on confirm. This camera has been added to your home in away routines. You can go ahead and redo this. Automatically turn off and on and, and away only notifications. Okay. These are up to you. For me, I want both of these toggled on and I'm going to click on done. Here's the familiar face detection. Teach your cameras who you know and get a notification when they see a familiar or unfamiliar face. So you can set that up if you wish. For me, I don't want to do it, so I'm going to click on not now. You can always do not now and set it up later as well. Stay in the know. That's, you can sign up for that or you don't have to. I'm going to click on no thanks for me. New live video and event history. In and here's some tutorials that you should probably watch so you know how to use the Google Home app getting your device ready. You're all set. Let's click on done right there and voila. Okay. So, so my Google home app. Now if I scroll down, let's see. Okay. So under office here, this is my, uh, my nest camera. I can go ahead and tap on that. You can see that it's connecting right there. You can see right there. Check one, two, check one, two. And we can go to history here, and we can see some previous recordings more, here. If you want to read more, after that, tap on next. All right. So there you guys go. So there you go. And just FYI, you do have you can still move this head around as well on here. All right. Anyway, good luck, guys.